What up people, this is Bonjour. I'm just here enjoying the view. Rain's about to come. The seagulls are splitting, so gotta make this quick. We're gonna talk about traveling in Europe and how to get the best price and tr just overall travel tips and how do we do it. Well, I'll tell you how we do it. We keep our schedule open and we're very flexible. So if we have a plan, we're willing to break it. It's not like, oh, we're going here and that's it. That's final, right? Sometimes I have my heart set on it, but I'm willing to let it go for the price. Like, I'll tell you a story. Okay, okay, okay. So at the beginning of the summer, because we have to travel when summer's over because we got a business that requires the summer and all the work revolves around the summer here. So we got to travel kind of in the shoulder season like October to like May kind of right so we keep our schedule open at the beginning I went on Skyscanner Skyscanner is the website I always use it gives you it's like a search engine for the cheapest flights so it gives you all the Ryanair all the Wizz Air all the Lufthansa all these prices all in one so you kind of get to go through it and then if you choose the 25th but it's 40 euros and then if you choose the 26 and it'd be 20 euros then you take that right so that's what i'm saying with flexibility but yes yeah, skyscanner is a great great way to travel around europe and you can get the cheapest flights using skyscanner but sometimes you have to cross reference so if it says on skyscanner you're flying with ryanair go to ryanair's website check it out see what they have to say about it maybe you can get a deal with the direct flight too i'm not saying you can't but i'm saying skyscanner has never let me down right and it's it's easy because it gives you all of them so it's like a lazy man saying and then you can do so if you want to go to like sometimes you have to be creative with the way you travel like uh last year we went to malta and the only reason why we went to malta was because it was more expensive to fly directly to valencia our final destination where we were going for a month instead of like so if we flew to valencia it would be 200 dollars each 200 euros each ticket right so if we fly to Malta, we pay 20 euros there for a ticket, then we pay 75 for the hotel, then we go to Barcelona for 20, and then we take the train for 20. So it works out to be cheaper, plus you get a free trip to a country you've never been before. So if you're looking at it like, oh, well, you're spending more money on hotels and traveling to a new country. Well, yeah, but wouldn't you rather do that than spend all your money on an airline? I don't get it. Like. So I had this, I'll tell you the story, I'll tell you this story, I'll tell you this other story, I'll tell you this other story. I got off track. Uh, so we were planning a trip and I was like, okay, I want to go to Poland and Romania. Because I've seen all the plane tickets back in like August. They were cheap, they are like 18 each people, 20, 20 each person, right? $20, 20 euros a flight each person. So I could go to, so our destination would have been Paris, stay there for uh, two nights, go take to uh, a picture of the sea i'm mean, not seeing tower the eiffel tower at trocadero park you know where good old uh, the fewer took a picture back in the 40s and then go to krakow poland for 18 then go to uh, bucharest for like 20 and then fly to zagreb for like 40. but then when we were ready to travel because we didn't book it at the time because we weren't sure because our plans we have a child and we don't know what's going on with therapy and all this other stuff right so then I waited, 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 and then finally we booked a trip recently. Now we're going to Vienna for a week, and we only paid 30 euros. And the flight from Poland, where I wanted to go, was 150 euros each person. So, moral of the story is, I was flexible. I wanted to go to Poland, that was the destination I wanted to go, but I ended up going to Vienna and Bratislava. Like, what? <laughs> like, we, we didn't even have that on our map, but we're like, huh, oh, it's cheap, huh? Okay, and then our other option actually, funny, funny, we had another option because it was to go to Greece and to go to Greece usually cost a lot of money, a lot, a lot of money, right? Especially to fly like more than 200 euros a person. So we would have to go all the way to Zagreb and we'd go to Thessaloniki, Thessaloniki or something like that, right? It's about an hour and a half outside of Athens uh, for 30 euros each person from Zagreb. So I was thinking, and we fly with Lufthansa, right? So that's a... That's a premier airline, that's a nice airline. And I was like, oh, we should do that. But the problem is my wife didn't want to travel all the way to Zagreb because we live about four hours away from Zagreb. 
So I looked at other options and that's how we landed on Vienna for cheaper. So it all worked out, but we are super flexible. The dates, we had the dates uh, for Poland in November. Then we moved this one to next week. Now we're going away next week instead of November. And who knows, you might find us in Greece still. In November, we don't know. Or Poland. Or England. We don't know yet. You know, we always look for that deal. Always look for that deal and make sure you have the time. Just move things around to fit that. Because you'll never get that deal again. And if you find a good, good deal, I suggest you book that deal book that deal because the prices always change they change every hour never mind months and months so you, if you want to take that deal if you find a good deal i suggest you book it and move your life around that and make it happen but always try to be flexible I, i'm saying be flexible like this be flexible on the dates because it's like this oh well i can only go from the 17th to the 28th and that's it. So you're looking for flights from 17th to 28th. And that's not the way to do it. You got to be like this. Okay, so if I go for four days here for 10 bucks, why wouldn't I just do that, right? Right? You know what I mean? So if, if I can go from the 14th to the 18th for 10 bucks, I'm taking that. I know I wanted to go a 17th or the 28th, but you know, it just didn't fall this time. I found a great deal over here to a country, a city I'd never been to. So I'm gonna take that instead of overpaying just cause I want to go because I have my heart set on Poland. So I'm gonna overpay. No, that's not the way we do it. We, we use Skyscanner, we look for the cheapest deals to new cities and new places that we've never been and we go there. There's a lot of places we haven't been. So we go there. We take the new city every single time, especially if it's for cheap. We don't worry about our hearts getting broken because we can't go to Poland. You know what I mean? We'll be to Poland. We'll go to Poland. Don't worry. We'll go to Poland. We'll find a way. But just right now, it just didn't work out. So be flexible. That's what I'm saying. Be flexible. It sounds cliche for travelers, people that travel a lot. They all know. Go to Skyscanner. Be, be, be flexible. You know this already. I'm speaking to the people that are new or that have never heard of Skyscanner or just don't know about traveling. So that's my advice on how to get cheap flights when you're in Europe. It's cheaper than Flixi bus and all the buses. So take a flight somewhere, live a little bit. This is Bonjo, we're out here. Click like, subscribe and share. And we're out here in Croatia, it's about the rain. Rain, rain, go away. And that's what I'm about to do. Adios amigos, ciao, ciao. One more thing, remember guys, always support the channel, whether it's buying merch, commenting, anything. Everything is so highly appreciated with us. We wanna show you guys the world through our lens and if you guys can't travel and this is the way you travel is through us so be it so let us experience it before you do in case you waste your money on something you didn't want to do or you're not sure of or that you're scared of we'll help you out and if anybody has any questions you can always follow me on instagram at this is bunjo underscore 13 come follow me there and message me and we can talk daily and you know throw a donation or two around you know don't be cheap